Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts, and uh, today uh, I got to see a kind of old uh, piece of blackthorn, and I thought I'd make a, a little video of about it for you guys as well. Um, someone came into my shop today, and uh, they they were looking to buy a, a number of uh, old style type sticks, and they showed me this stick that they had, which was their uh, their grandfather's, and uh, I'll be shipping this over to them in in Australia, and I thought it would just be interesting to show you guys what what an older stick looked like. You can see there's a uh, so there's a pretty big bend in it as well like when it goes down but like when when you actually hold the stick as well like even though there's that bend in it it still can seem to support uh weight pretty pretty okay as well um i could tell it's been like touched up a little bit and uh been been kind of like painted recent enough anyway in the last five or six years but uh this would be uh, an old uh, black con as well um it's probably like originating from like the late 60s or 70s based on the conversation that i had with with this gentleman um you can see as well like you know there's no furrow or anything at the the bottom of the uh the stick and that's something that i don't really do as well i don't put any furls i add a rubber furl to, to help but you know you can see it's 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 taken you know there's there's plenty of wear and tear there on the bottom but like there's there's no you know it's a piece of wood that's hitting against the ground like you know you don't have to worry about that too much if it's sealed it's, it's fine or as well seasoned as well so you know like metal furls they tap and they make noises like you know you don't really even need a furl to be honest like even just having the end as a piece of wood on, on modern pavements you know it's 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 a piece of wood that's rubbing against pavements like it's going to get a little bit of wear and tear but it's not going to like fall apart or anything as well that's how they used to use it years ago so you can see as well like um a lot of the old style sticks they they kind of left the, the thorns on as well and i do this on a number of uh of sticks as well um so i actually do this style which is an old style and um, pretty well i think that um a lot of the older kind of sticks um they are from the branches like this one with with a load of thorns as well i thought the handle was interesting like the handle is just very very straightforward it's just cut down here cut here and boom there you have your handle but like you know it, it is comfortable like you know to to do it you have like um you see how they've only just really made two cuts on this they made a cut here and a cut here rest in your palm sits there your thumb can rest right on the top and once you have that kind of like you know it's you can imagine like you could have shaped that into like a knob stick you could have shaped it into to many different things as well but you don't really need to it's very very practical like you know if you're making sticks just cut there cut there is it good enough to use a walking stick it is does it got a good grip like of course you can spend hours like carving it and making it more round and different things as well but you can see like the the wood is uh is is pretty old and, and very very seasoned as well you can see there little kind of marks of how someone would use a little knife they tried to like smooth out you see the little knife marks here and here so they obviously kind of smoothed out the edges around there which was uh, with a knife and you can see as well here they just kind of like nicked away little knife marks you see them here there and there as well uh so again that was just kind of like you know the, the edges around here were just kind of you know taken off with with a little knife so they made it look you can see you see all these little marks here these lines that was done with a handsaw so a handsaw was kind of done this it wasn't done by machine because you can see all these lines here so a handsaw was used then they used a knife just to kind of round it a bit here as well um they did kind of have the wood kind of sealed it looks like some kind of varnish that was on it over the years and here you can see the same thing as well look they they cut it across with a handsaw such as all these little lines here you know all these little lines across so like um i do this in love of my styles because i want to like um make my sticks look like these old ones from the 50s 60s and 70s as well um and the, the style was, was pretty straightforward they they look like you know pretty straightforward but they're very functional and then look you know they've, they've just taken the edges off here again with with a with a knife or a carving knife as well and uh, yeah it's, it's perfectly fine you know like here these lines from the sand mark give a little bit of grit, uh, a, a grip as well. So your hand's not like slipping and sliding. Like you don't really ever want a well-polished knob. You know, don't take that clip out of context. But uh, you know what I mean? Like um, you want to leave um, little ras marks or you want to leave little saw marks on it as well. You want to have it like looking as authentic as possible. So like I actually do sticks in this style. And like I've tried to explain it to guys before because they're like, oh, why did you leave a little ras mark here? Why did you do this? Or oh, why did you leave this ugly little ras mark? And I said, it's not ugly. It's actually pretty cool. It shows that it was handmade. And uh, I actually like this. And, and uh, I actually make a lot of sticks in this, this type of uh, 
style. So if you're looking for like some perfection, go get a factory made stick or, or ones that are just pieced together and glued together. Um, but if you want a real authentic stick like, like this type of one, uh, I do this at the McCaffrey Crafts as well. Um, I can make kind of really basic handles and maybe bring out a little section as well on my website where I have just these kind of like more kind of practical old style type of sticks. I'll leave all the saw marks on here as well. <laughs> and I think that's kind of cool. I don't know, I kind of like it. You know, I, I can just by looking at the stick has a lot of characters, like I can tell, like, you know, how it was cut and I, I can visualize, I can imagine, yeah, this was, this is definitely a handmade stick and you can appreciate it a little bit more than, than something that's well polished and, and, and stuff as well. But look, I, I give plenty of choice on my website and you can have a load of different things, but it's sort of just an interesting stick to, uh, to talk about as well. And look at that bend, man. Like, you know, most people are like, oh, that terrible bend and stuff, but like, you know, here, look, you can see it's even more pronounced. Look, you know, you have the stick there and there's a, there's a big bend. Oh, but like. When you press down it still it still it still has um still has a, a, a you know still pretty fine to to be to to take as well because sometimes these these uh these older sticks you know you'd be worried about them but still flexibility still a good seasoned piece of wood um so this is uh this is pretty nice as well so anyway guys thank you for for watching and uh, appreciate uh, the support go to mccaffreycrafts.com if you want to see any information on my stick